Let's say a publicly controlled bank is in financial distress. The central government intervenes by providing financial assistance, also called a financial bailout, to the bank. In macroeconomic statistics, we refer to such financial assistance as a capital injection. Depending on the circumstances, this capital injection is recorded as a loan, a capital transfer, an acquisition of equity, or a combination of these. The government may also have intervened indirectly by extending the range of guarantees it is prepared to offer to the financially distressed corporation. Broadly, three main issues arise with bailout operations that may or may not affect GFS and or PSDS. The first issue is the sectorization of the entity or unit created to finance or manage the sales of assets and or liabilities of the distressed corporation. This is normally called the restructuring agency. In particular, the sectorization is important for determining whether the agency's transactions, other economic flows, and stock positions of debt liabilities, as well as other assets and liabilities, are within the general government sector or the public corporation sector. The second issue is the appropriate statistical treatment of the capital injection. In other words, as a loan, a capital transfer, an equity injection, or a combination of these. If a loan is involved, government and, more broadly, public sector debt would be affected. If an equity injection is involved, government and public sector debt would not be affected because equity is a non-debt instrument. The third issue is how government has financed the financial bailout. In other words, did government borrow to provide the bailout funds to the distressed corporation or did it dispose of some of its financial assets to do so? If the financing of the financial bailout involves debt instruments, then such financing would affect government and more broadly, public sector debt.